5.0 with my rag top down so my hair can't blow. Actually, this is not a 5.0, but shout out Vanilla Ice. We did go somewhere cool today, though, didn't we? It's a fun, fun adventure. Yeah. So, in another installment of What Did Jack and Carla Do today, we've got the first mods for my ski. And uh, we tried to get some stuff for her ski, but there's out of stock, but we're, we're going to come back and get them. We ordered everything. Um, we went to Riva Racing. Riva's big shout out. They always, uh, they've always come through with stuff. <clears throat> and um, right now, I guess they're just sold out of like almost everything, which is crazy. But they did have stuff for the ski. I picked up a, a pro cooling system uh, and I picked up a prop. So we'll talk about those when we get home. I'll take everything out and kind of show it to you. It's going to be part of the first round of stuff. The cooling mod is really more for for uh, reliability. Um, the SHO motors are hot. They run hot, hot, hot. So they share cooling with the motor um, and the intercooler. So it's just too much. It's For both systems to be on one hose, one line, the heat soaking gets real bad. So this system will eliminate that problem by separating the two and actually pulling uh, cool water from the the jet pump via a second fitting that goes in this pump strainer. So I'll show you guys in detail what that is and how that works and then um, and then we'll put it on the ski and, and we'll make, make this thing run nice and cool because that's the first thing. We want it nice and cool first, foremost, um, and then also we have the Haltech coming for for this. So that's going to be a couple weeks. It's on back order, but uh, it will come through. The guys at Hall Tech promised me they will get it, so we'll have that. That and I haven't showed them yet. Got something really cool sitting at the house, so we'll get to the house and uh, I'll crack it out for you so we can see it. mods here that are going to go on the ski first thing we got here is this prop this is a solus impeller now this is a, a little different than what most people would get um most people would go to like the 1322 i believe from the stock uh pitch which is arguably like a 1219 or something like that so uh, this is a, actually a 1319, so it's not quite as aggressive as the 1322, but um, Chris Landis, Pro Racer at Riva, he recommended this. So here's a tool and a little cone, a little ca anti-cavitation cone that goes in there. Um, and there's the prop itself. So you can see here, Concord Solus, and there you go, 1319. So this is what we're gonna be putting on there. Um, he said this is gonna give me powerful hole shot and it's gonna get the RPMs up nice and quick. So we'll be able to tune this in and should keep us really, really punchy down low and still give us reasonable top end. So not necessarily a 100 mile an hour prop, but because we're gonna be turning some RPM, this, this will give us nasty hole shot. So that's the first real performance mod we're gonna be doing. Now, the second thing here is the cooling kit. You can see here, engine cooling upgrade kit. So this is what I was talking about where we will remove the pump strainer and replace it with this high flow pump strainer. And it has this uh, extra cooling block in there that gives us an extra inlet of cool uh, water that's coming right out of the body water that we're riding in. And with the assorted fittings and things that go with that, it will go straight to the intercooler and allow us to cool it independently of the motor. And of course, all of the hose that you'll need to run it. So the basic gist of the kit is right here. 
but it, it doesn't seem like much, but this is a, a, a really substantial upgrade for this ski in order to maintain temperature and keep it from getting too warm. Down here in Florida, we ride in hot water. The water temperatures here are mid 80s most of the year. And um, with the exception of our two week long winter, um, that that makes things pretty hot. Even the guys that ride in cooler water complain of heat soaking after a little while. So, you know, first few minutes of riding, not a big deal. But as soon as you get that, you know, 20, 30 minutes into your ride, everything is super hot inside there. And the benefit of this cooling mod is realized at that point. And what will end up happening is, is like, let's say your ski makes a uh, 70, well, let's get 8,000 RPM when it's cool. Um, and then as it gets warm, it starts to drop RPM down to like 75, 7,600 RPM. It just can't get over that because the power level is getting down. The air charge is getting hot. Your intercooler is getting heat soaked. Your engine's getting heat soaked. So your performance is, is, is getting down. So in the first few minutes of riding, you're going to have all of your speed and great. That's good for drag racing, but for continuous riding and rec riding, we want to have in racing, you know, close course racing, we want to have more cooling capability and it'll keep the speed even the whole time. So you get that, that 70 miles an hour or that 75, 8,000 RVM, uh, when it's cold and then you keep it the whole time, even when it's hot, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that increase in that, that adds to the reliability. You don't need to uh, worry about detonation and stuff like that as, as much. And it just creates a, a much better environment for performance. So we'll go ahead and crack this stuff open and lay it out and get the ski going, and put this stuff on it. And then um, I'm waiting on the, on the shaft tool for this. Uh, they didn't have it in stock, but it is coming. So we'll have that hopefully in the next couple of days and we'll be able to throw this on. So we'll do this, this, and then we'll go back to the water, test again, see how it, how it does, kind of get a baseline for things um, in preparation for the next big step. But let me show you what I got. Next big step is this. Here we go. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So for those of you who have these skis or you know about these skis, they come with a supercharger that's designed by HKS, the best, you know. Um, and uh, it's a gear-driven supercharger that's mounted on the front of the motor. So in the original iteration of this supercharger, it was uh, six pounds of boost, not too much, uh, at 7,500 RPM or so. And um, it's a nice unit but it had some, not necessarily designed flaws, but some shortcomings. And most of that was in the bearings and just in the, uh, in the, in the, in the longevity of the entire unit. It had a, has a clutch in it that needed to be serviced periodically. Um, and it, overall it was a reliable unit, but there were some improvements there. So in the first iteration of the improvements, we went to the SVHO engine, which was a super vortex high output versus just a super high output. Um, and that motor is a little bit stronger. It's got better internals and whatnot, and it's able to handle more power. But the big news was is they upgraded that supercharger. And the supercharger on the SVHO was making now around 11 pounds of boost. So a nice improvement over that six pounds stock on the, on the older units. They went even further though in 2019 and they upgraded once again. So this is the third version of the supercharger. And in this version of the supercharger, they added a billet wheel. So now we've got a billet wheel and um, it's more veins. Uh, the, the, the SVHO supercharger is more veins also, but this one's also more, has more veins than the original one, which is only like five. Um, and uh, now this, Latest version also is a, another pound or two of boost. So we're looking probably like 12 to 14 pounds of boost out of this unit at the same RPM where we were only making six originally. So a massive change, double the boost and um, and the motor can take it, they love it. Uh, they, also, they also upgraded the bearing package in this one. So it's a little bit uh, 
more reliable. The shaft is better. Everything about this, this supercharger unit is better than the other ones. So if you have one of the older skis, if you have a 2008 with the first version, look for one of these. You can get these online. Um, they're under a thousand bucks used. You take off, take taken off of a brand new ski. And it's really, in my opinion, worth doing just because of all of those technology upgrades to the unit itself. The clutch is better. It's got a, 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 a better bearing. It's got a better shaft. It's got a better wheel. It makes more boost. So really the finest upgrade for uh, the original old school SHO. So we're gonna be putting that one on with the uh, Haltech. I, you can't put this on on a stock ECU. The stock ECU bumps you out at seven PSI. And also um, you got the RPM limit too to deal with. And you have to tune it for the extra fuel. So you're gonna need more fuel for this this supercharger. So when we get the Hall Tech, we'll throw this blower on. That way we can take care of everything. We won't have any boost cut. We won't have the RPM limit and we'll be able to spin that prop. And it, it's just going to be, it's all going to come together. Um, the way the ski sits right now, baseline 65 miles per hour. Um, and I think that with the Hall Tech, the prop and the supercharger and the cooling mod, we should see north of 75 miles per hour. That would be a, a sizable jump right there. It should should be getting us closer to that 80 mark that we want to hit. But we'll do these mods systematically. We don't want to we don't want to stress the system, so I can't just throw this blower on and see what happens. We get we have to have the ability to tune it. But a worthwhile mod, and I love this HKS so so good. So anyway. Cooling mods on first, prop comes second, Haltech and supercharger after that. Goals is we're gonna run some uh, flex fuel. We're gonna we're gonna have all kinds of cool little things going on. I also want to get a blow up valve on it, so I'm waiting to hear back from uh, from Fizzle Intercoolers to see if we can do something work with them. I'd like to get one of his intercoolers on there, um, and we'll just see exactly what what that does for us. That's another huge cooling mod that should get us big gains. I hear that it's it's worth 20 horsepower just from that intercooler. It also has a blow off valve on it, which I love. So we'll be able to run like you know that tile blow off valve on there. It's gonna make all the cool noises and still look very unassuming. So from the outside, you won't be able to tell anything's done to this ski. It's all gonna be internal. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you in the next one.